Hey, you guys. Happy, happy Friday or whatever day it is that you're listening to this. I have got a hopefully quick uh, down and dirty episode for you, especially as I'm recording this. We're coming off of a holiday week, um, a, hol a long holiday weekend. It was the 4th of July. And I had a client call this morning and we were talking about how she had brought up that it was, it was basically like a junk week or a bad week. If you are listening to the podcast, I'm using the air quotes when I say bad week. And so those are her thoughts and words about it. And this is so common. This is common. This happens. I feel like with all my clients, this happens with me where we say, you know, oh, like I feel off track. I've had a bad week. Um, and the thoughts go from there, right? Like I didn't almost like I didn't do anything right. Nothing worked. It was just like a, a waste of a week. Like I really didn't do anything. Like when those are your thoughts about your day, about your week, uh, anything beyond that, working towards your goals. I check in with my clients at least once a week. We have a phone call um, or some kind of call to touch base. So whatever you're evaluating yourself on, if you check in with yourself on a week to week basis, whatever that is, but when these are your thoughts, when you've had a bad day, a bad week, then I want to offer you here, I have four things on how to keep going towards the results that you want and not get thrown off track when you have a bad day or a bad week. Okay. Um, so the first thing is, the first thing is to have grace for yourself, okay, because this is how it works. Hear me again. You having a shitty week, a bad day, a bad week, this is the human real life experience. Nobody, I don't care who you are, <laughs> nobody gets away or it's like point, point, 0.001% of humans are like this. Okay. So majority of us, this is our lived experience that there is no perfect, not hitting our goals every single minute of every single day and week perfectly. That is just not real life, right? So I want you to reframe and shift your perspective have grace for yourself immediately instead of feeling guilty, shame, frustrated, whatever. Because guess what? When you feel, when you think the shitbag show of thoughts, oh, it's not working, I fucked up, I'm off track, blah, 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 and you feel frustrated, what do you do? You don't go do the workout the very next day or later that night. You don't make the healthy meal choices and get right back to what you were doing with ease and grace. When you feel frustrated and stressed out and say that shit show pile of thoughts, then you eat the ice cream, right? You say, fuck it. I'll just have another whatever meal. I'll get back on track on Monday. You skip the workouts, right? You don't do, you don't stay on your plan when you feel that way and you think those thoughts. So that never serves us. Okay. So instead have grace. And I want you to shift your perspective and literally know, like, hear me. And this is how it works. Congratulations. You are a beautiful, wonderful human. And this is how we get results is actually by having the bad weeks so we can learn the lessons for life as we navigate them, as we use the tools that I'm going to give you today to get through the bad days, bad weeks, so you can learn from it and get better and better and better, right? It's like uh, when you first start training for a marathon or first start lifting, like, you know what the heck you're doing if you've ever strength trained before. And like the first time you're actually truly learning how to do a squat or a deadlift or truly any lifting. And, and it feels like awkward, like, wait, am I doing this? And you, you have to try and put, you know, actually move your body and try the things until you become proficient and truly know how to handle this that lift, right? And so you, how you truly know how to handle eating healthy and sustaining it is by having bad days and bad weeks. 
amazing, right? So congratulations. You are this beautifully imperfect human and you are doing it right if you have bad days and bad weeks, okay? And so know that that is working if you have those, right? So that's first and foremost. Okay, number two, once you know like, oh great, okay, bad day, bad week, that's fine. Like this is mean, this means I'm human. Number two is write out your wins. Like the very next step or the first thing you do after you are coming to your evaluation day, mine's usually like Sunday or Monday where I'm like, okay, what, what are all my wins from this week? So I want you to write those out. I don't care if it's a Google doc, a notebook, whatever you do in your head, but I, I would really highly suggest you write them out. Really take a, a moment I do this with my clients every single week. And here's what happens is you have that shit bag show of thoughts that's saying, I didn't do all my workouts. It was a really bad week. I ate too much because it was 4th of July and I went to the barbecue and the picnic, drank too much. Um, it was just a really bad week. Like that's, that's the story you start telling yourself when you have a bad day or a bad week. And this happens like literally 99% of the time, if not 100% of the time with my clients, where I'm like, okay, go ahead, hold on, hold on. Let's look at the facts. I want you to look at the facts of what actually happened versus the story and thoughts we tell ourselves, right? That, oh, it was just a junk week. Okay, hold on. So I'll go by day by day to be like, okay, did you work out this day? What'd you do? Did you work out this day? What'd you do? Okay, how about eating? How is that overall? Like we, we take a step back from the emotion and from the story, right? We take a step back and we look at the facts and say, okay, what actually happened this week? Literally. And all of a sudden, like in the example of this client, she literally worked out every single day, like hit her workout goals. The couple of the workouts were different than what we had prescribed, but she hit her goal. She worked out every single day and even added some different movement in that, that wasn't actually in there. And so she hit her goal at 80%, which is what I call winning. So that just got washed over. That wasn't the first thing that was brought up, right? And that is what our brains do. They go to that junk, to that pile of crap thoughts that has us staying stuck and feeling like shit versus acknowledging and highlighting all the goddamn wins. I mean, they're there. You just have to take your brain. You have to direct it to look and see all of the wins. And I'm talking all the wins. I'm not talking, yeah, like literally most of us eat three meals a day. And that was the other win. It was like, no, no, I ate, she had a few more Joy Eats, quite a bit more Joy Eats and still only gained a pound, but had a few more, so had some more Joy Eats, but overall still was eating my fuel plate guideline that helps all my clients stay. It's, it's a super simple way that I teach them to stay on track with eating. And she still did that all the days. Like, and it was like, well, hold on. That's a big freaking win right there. Like you have been working at this and, and getting after it and eating really well overall, right? Even if it was 70% and not 80%. So let's recognize that. Call out, write out all of your wins, okay? Because I bet you, I would bet you like any money that you have way more wins than you are thinking right now when you're saying, oh, I had a bad day, I had a bad week. Stop. Look at the actual facts of what you did or did not do and count every single win. If you plan to do five workouts, but you only got in two, Stop focusing on the three you didn't get in. Focus on the two that you did get in, right? Stop focusing on the two days you ate at the barbecue and ate like crap, quote unquote, and focus on the five days that you ate amazing and healthy. Do you see where I'm going with this, you guys? And all of a sudden you start stacking up and seeing those wins and you're like, oh, oh, well, I guess... This wasn't such a junk bad week at all, right? Oh my gosh. So, all right, that was number two. So write out all those wins, see ya. Number three, you're gonna evaluate. You guys will hear this as a theme as we go along. You need to write out what worked, what didn't work, 
What do you want to do different to go into this week? Take a look. Okay, well, if you did have some more joy eats, if you did fly off the handles one day and just eat and just said F it, okay, why? What happened? What were you thinking? What was the circumstances? What was the environment? Who was influencing you, yes or no, to make these decisions? Right? Were you tired? Was it that time of the month? Like really look at all the different factors to evaluate. And this is where we learn. Once you evaluate, you're just seeing, okay, well, this is what happened and why. So now I'm going to learn from that, right? Just like in the lifting. Nobody goes into a squat rack and knows how to squat on the first day. You start small. You learn the basics. You fail, you fail, you fail, you fail, you fail until you actually do know how to win. So that's all this is. We're just going to evaluate, okay, well, what didn't work, right? So I don't know about you guys. So it's just like, whew, drop the shoulders, right? Just relax. There is nothing wrong with having a bad day or a bad week. We're just going to look at it and learn from it every single time. And guess what? I still do this, right? I still have to evaluate because we are humans. <laughs> and even once you have things down, you might still be like, well, that was just a little too much cake that day. All right. That's why my hand might be raised. Right. And I have to do the same thing. So nobody's perfect. I don't care if you're an athlete or whatever level you're at. Right. Just relax. Let's just evaluate. Okay. Uh, number four is simply to keep on the plan that you already made into the next week with whatever changes you, you learn from, right? From your evaluation. If you're like, well, I've been telling myself to work out five days a week for the last three weeks and I've only gotten two workouts in maybe three. All right. Well, your evaluation should include that's, that's, that's a goal you're not hitting. That's too much. And you're probably making yourself feel like shit week after week for not hitting that. So lower your goal. Your new goal is to work out three days a week or two days a week and try to hit that. Once you hit that two to three weeks consistently, then you can see about bumping it up, right? So that's what I mean when you're looking at like an evaluation, like, okay. Or if you're like, well, um, I realize that I'm not drinking enough water. Like I'm having all these cravings for these different foods. And when you evaluate, you're like, I'm not drinking enough water. That's probably the big thing. Okay, great. So your plan into the next week you make sure that you have water on your plan, right? Which I hope you do already. Um, but regardless, it's like, okay, so you just keep with the plan that you made from the beginning and you're going to tweak, tweak each little week. Next week, tweak, tweak each little week. Once you have what's working, keep doing that. And whatever you need to change that's not working, just that's where you evaluate and you do something different in your week, right? But we're not trying to like, you know, shuck everything away and be like, wow, if it, like this plan never works for me. Like I can never stick to anything. No, 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 no. Just relax. Your plan can still work. you just have to evaluate and see how it can work best for you. Right? So that's all it is. Nobody has to like start from scratch, start all over after a bad day or a bad week. No. The plan that you made a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago, keep at it. Keep at it. Keep tweaking. Keep at it. Keep tweaking. You do not need to like go off the deep end and, and say, well, now I'm going to go try this totally 180 thing. Like if people are like, well, maybe I want to, I feel like this is like diet stuff is like, people are like, well, let me do the whole 30. Well, that, that didn't work. I messed up a bunch of times on that. So, and you never were actually consistent. And then you're like, well, let me try keto. Maybe that'll work for me. And then you mess up a bunch of times and never actually stay with the plan for weeks and months and months on end to allow it to work. So don't just throw the shit away. Just keep the same plan. Keep at it and figure out what you need to do different. Have some grace. Make sure you're always acknowledging all your wins all along the way at a minimum every single week. Okay. This is how you handle a bad day and a bad week. And just knowing you are human, I am human, we are all humans. There is nothing wrong. And in fact, it is totally normal. And that means it's working if you have bad days and bad weeks. Okay? Because this is the human experience. Life is going to happen. 
There's going to be days that are great 50% of the times and days that are shitty 50% of the time. The more you get to accept that, then the better you're going to keep moving forward and be consistent overall, right? And this is the other, the last thing I'll say here is the way I like to think about it is it's not, you don't say I'm going to do this goal and then it's just a straight rocket shot to the top. Um, no. Has that ever happened to you? I don't know. It's never happened to me for sure. It actually goes like you take a step up, step up. Ooh, good week, good week. You're hitting your goals. And then, oh, life happened. Kind of a rough week. Okay. Go, keep going. One step up. Good week, good week. Oh, and then we're maintaining. Maintaining for a week, two weeks. Oh, three weeks we're maintaining. Oh, and then we have a bad week. Oh, and then there's two, three. Oh, now we're having four good weeks, right? It's this up and down straight line across type of situation. It's a ziggy zaggy line that eventually gets to the top, but it is not just a week after week of wins, day after day of just winning. That is not the way it works to get your results, right? And in fact, you will appreciate the journey and deeply know in your soul the skills of healthy habits or whatever it is you're working on by falling flat on your face and failing and having bad days and bad weeks. That is how you figure out actually the solutions to what will work for you and for your body. Not by just winning, 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 winning the whole way, right? You will deeply have developed a skill inside yourself instead of just a surface level willpower my way through eating healthy for three weeks or three months or even a year. And then life happens and then you get off, right? Unless you have the skills of life happening, bad days happening day after day, week after week, right? And you having the skill of how to navigate that. That is gold. That is priceless, my friends. Okay. I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing week and I hope that was helpful. Um, if you are looking for more tips and tools, for sure, follow and subscribe here um, on the podcast. I would love it if you left a review so you can spread the love and the word with others, share it with a friend that you think could find this super helpful too. Okay, you guys, I'll see you again soon.